In lab 3 of Cisco Unified uh, res uh, ECC 9 resource kit, uh, we're going to focus on setting up a peripheral gateway for CUCM. Some of the summary tasks are involved in initializing the database, uh, creating de agent desk settings, configuring the PG Explorer, download and install JTAPI plugin, create application users, associate JTAPI users to the devices such as uh, CTI rod point, agent uh, phone. Uh, once that is done, then we're going to jump into the uh, peripheral gateway server uh, to install the peripheral gateway and configure a PIM. Uh, upon com completion of all these tasks, we're going to verify to see if the PG server was able to communicate with call manager. So the first thing we're going to do in uh, installing PG for CUCM is to create uh, initialize the local database since this is the first time we're logging into configuration manager of the ICM once you initialize it we are going to open the configuration manager and then start configuring the necessary prerequisite for the peripheral gateway now one of the first thing we need to create in order to add a call manager per PG it is uh, the agent desk settings so on the tools menu go to list tools you'll find agent desk settings list at the top now agent desk settings is required for any peripheral gateway that is related to PBX or uh, CUCM typically anywhere the agents belongs to so agent desk settings uh, when we create one it's just going to be defaults uh, for every I mean we, for all the PBX so we'll add uh, we'll call this a default desk settings You can set uh, parameters, things like ring no answer time, ring no answer delay number, uh, dial number, uh, assist call method. Many different uh, settings can be applied. These are the settings that will be inherited by the agent when they log in. So go ahead and save. Once we save this, close this application and now we're going to open PG Explorer. PG Explorer allows you to uh, configure settings that will be used to communicate with the peripheral itself, such as the call manager and the router via a peripheral gateway in the middle. So to con to map this, you must configure this uh, uh, peripheral gateway. Now here's an example of uh, a PG that I'm creating a PGCUCM uh, PG1 actually I'm recreating it again so define the name P, uh, CUCM PG1 the client type is very important the client type is going to be CUCM soft ACD primary CTI address will be the IP address of your CTI server which happens to be the same server as your sprawler, uh, is your router. Uh, under the peripheral, you define, you change the peripheral name if you need to. Ch uh, choose the desk settings that we just cre created. Uh, enable post routing if you want the uh, CUCM to request route from the ICM we must check enable post routing and any uh, agent phone uh, line control whether you want a single line versus controlling all the line you can select that option once that part is done we will go to uh, agent distribution now this particular description is not absolutely necessary but something for your own sake uh, distribution uh, a agent distribution basically point of the site name where your administrative servers are this is where you we store your real-time data and historical data for the agent uh, once that part is taken care of now we're going to routing client now the routing client basically allows the CUCM to request a route so we choose the routing client because we did enable post routing and any other parameters that you want to change
So once we save this, you'll notice that logical controller ID and peripheral IDs will be now uh, visible before it was unassigned. Uh, the default peripheral and logical ID is 5000 for the first entries that you create. Now we're going to log into your call manager and download the JTAPI plugin. The purpose of the JTAPI plugin is to synchronize uh, the JTAPI communication from the peripheral gateway server. This plugin you must install on the PG gateway server, not the server that is hosting the router. So you go to application plugin. Select uh, the 64 bit plugin for JTAPI. So once we install this, we must define the IP address of the TFTP server for this particular software, our client. So you define uh, the TFTP address of the call manager server. Once the peripheral is being installed, uh, sorry, the plugin is being installed, we will now go back to call manager and under user management, select application user. We must create an application user that will be used to co uh, control the communication between the peripheral gateway and the call manager using JTAPI protocol. As well as, we need to associate all the agent phone to this particular user so that the, this user can control the status of those phones. Uh, I see this particular user will also be associated with the CTI route point, which in return is mapped to all the dial number configured in your ICM server. So here, for example, I am adding a ICM pre-sell CTI route point and one or two IP phone that are going to act as an agent phone. These are not the phone that belongs to the customer or caller. These are phone that belongs to the agent. This user must. Uh, be ac must have access to certain user group so for simplicity I just select all of them but you can customize all the enable CTI, CTI based uh, group that we that have Uh, just want to make sure that all the uh, all the CTI route points should be added to these users and all the agent form. Now. We need to note down the logical controller ID and peripheral ID. Uh, this, this two information will be required by the PG setup uh, application. So under UCC tools, click on peripheral gateway setup. So we're going to add a peripheral gateway. Uh, this will be a CUCM peripheral type. So we'll so from the list select CUCM. Uh, 
continue clicking next. Now the logical controller ID, this is where we define um, the 5000 that we noted down from our PG Explorer. Of course if the number is different then you must go ahead and select that as well. Now the PIM, we must also add a peripheral interface manager and this is where you define the more details information about the call manager itself. So here put the name of the PG, uh, peripheral ID is 5000, you can also verify that against the PG Explorer. Agent extension length will be the length of your uh, phone uh, extension, so in our most cases it's 4 digit. The service is the IP address of your call manager and the user ID will be the, the JTAP user we just created, ICM, password Cisco. And the codec that we're going to use is G7.11. G uh, continue next and you can add uh, more parameters if you wish to. Um, just going to keep it simple for now. Continue with the next all the way to the end and this will install the peripheral gateway. So you can go ahead and start the service. Once this is done, you can use the system CLI to val verify if your call man PG is active. You can take a look at uh, the service as well. The PG1A is running, but that does not mean that the service is active. You can go to system CLI. Once you log into system CLI, you will type show process to validate if PG1 is active. So here you can see that PG1 uh, underscore one is active mode. So that means it, it is able to authenticate and communicate with the call manager properly. Next step in call manager is to check the CTI route point and make sure that the number dial number is registered. These are the number the user will dial to access the contact center. So the COCM remain active but the dial number is still not registered simply because well we haven't created a number. So here, here I'm creating a dial number uh, 2500. Once I save, I should see this dial number registered to call manager. So dial number is registered. Now we're going to validate. We're going to validate by sending a call.
So from the phone, we'll dial 2500. Uh, obviously, when you dial that number, we'll get a pass busy, busy at this stage uh, or busy sta uh, condition. And when you connect, it will tell you that unable to dial a map, the dial number to a call type, which is true because we have not created a call type at this stage. This is the purpose of this uh, lab was to show you the PG communication uh, installation of the PG for CUCM. So this validate that the connection from the call manager to the router is now working properly.